So now I'm going to show you the different tools that are required to uh, take apart this turntable and to uh, do some uh, repairs on it, uh, like the tone arm replacement, uh, the RCA cable replacement, uh, the pitch control, and a couple other things. Um, this is actually a very handy tool. Um, this is for manipulating the very tiny wires that uh, are with are installed on the tone arm. Um, needle nose pliers work excellent for that. This are called dikes or snips. Uh, take your preference. These come in different sizes. Um, small ones are fine. Uh, the main thing is that you're going to see why I use these. And this is just to cut some cables, uh, a cable tie actually, and actually to uh, modify the RCA cables as well. Uh, another handy tool, regular old Phillips. Phillips is the cross-shaped screwdriver. Next we have wire strippers. Um, I find these to be a little bit more better with the little springing action here. Uh, they cut very well. Uh, there are different kinds of wire uh, cutters out there on the market. Uh, this one just seems to suit us best for uh, stripping the RCA cables and sometimes possibly the uh, tone arm cables. We also have solder. This is the solder that we use here for the tone arm. You can use the lead free solder, uh, although there are some issues with lead free solder. Uh, it's still sort of new to the market, so we, we're staying away from it for now until they come out with something uh, a little bit better. But uh, uh, what we use here is a 60% tin, 40% of lead. Um, you can see the diameter, pretty thin, very easy to bend. Um, anything thicker I think would be too much for our purpose here, but uh, you can get these at any Radio Shack. Um, our uh, parts site, 1200s.com, actually has these. I believe these are maybe a dollar, two dollars tops. Another important tool, your cordless drill driver. Uh, this is used for disassembling the tone arm base. I'm sorry, not the tone arm base, the uh, turntable base, because there's, I think, close to a million screws on the bottom of this damn thing. So this just uh, makes it go a lot quicker. Um, one of these probably costs you about $50, $60. Uh, Home Depot has them, Radio Shack has them. Um, I believe we're gonna start selling these as well at a discounted price. Um, so check that out probably in the next uh, month or two. And this is a tool you don't really need. Uh, I like to have it. It's, it's sort of a, a second set of hands is what I like to call it. Um, it just holds my cables into place. Um, one of these you can probably, I'm not sure if Radio Shack has it, you might have to go to a specialty electronic repair store. Once again, we are going to be selling this stuff as well on the site. I believe something like this will probably cost me about 10 bucks. If you're going to be doing something like this uh, a little bit more on a professional level or for your friends, and I would suggest investing in one of these. Um, and that's pretty much it. You'll see what I'll, I'll use those for. So that, that's pretty much the gist of your tools. Um, this you can substitute for a pair of scissors or a box cutter, and I'll, I'll show you why. Uh, but everything else uh, just makes the job a lot easier, and if you have the right tools, um, you'll see that by having the right tools, your, the work that you will need to do uh, will actually go a lot smoother. Now, the other thing which a lot of people uh, fail to understand is where are we going to put the turntable uh, when we disassemble it? Because it's very important, and I'm going to show you the tone arm over here. The tone arm here is very, very fragile. This is the most fra fragile uh, piece on the Techniques 1200, and you want to protect it, especially if, let's say, that there's nothing wrong with the tone arm. Let's say you're doing something else. Maybe you're just replacing the RCAs. Uh, you don't want to cause any damage to this. And I have seen people try to do this themselves, you know, sitting on the floor. Uh, they put this thing, you know, they rest the entire, put the weight on the tone arm, and, you know, then they put it back together, and their tone arm's damaged. So I'm going to show you the proper way to disassemble the turntable. I'm going to show you the proper way to actually uh, mount your turntable while you're disassembling it. Uh, there are two ways. I'm going to show you the way we do it here. Uh, just remember that I'm a professional. I do this for a living. Um, you don't necessarily have to go this far. But uh, here's what I have, what I built. And uh, actually, no, I didn't build this. Actually, I actually found this, which was actually uh, quite remarkable because it actually fits two turntables uh, perfectly. So when I found this thing, I knew that uh, 
my calling was to be a technician, uh, especially the famed Techniques 1200s. So this is uh, actually probably one of my favorites, and this thing comes in very handy. Um, when I flip the turntable upside down, it fits nice and snug in there, and uh, I'll show you in a minute how that works. Obviously, if you don't have one of these, or if you don't want to build one of these, then you could use your dust cover. Your dust cover, if you have one, uh, most people do, most people put them aside, throw them away, hopefully you didn't. If you still have it, uh, this thing works beautifully also, because I'll show you why real quick. Make sure the tarm's locked down. You flip this bad boy upside down. Now if you notice here on the side, this bubble protects the toner. Very important, once again. So when you flip it upside down, voila, instant base. You can work on your turntable now securely on any uh, solid table and even the floor. If you don't have a dust cover, you can also use two by fours. If you have two by fours laying around um, or any kind of block, it doesn't even have to be uh, two by four blocks. You can even use, these are, um, these are cartridge holders. These also work very well. Um, and the way this system works is you put the two pieces of wood. Bear with me, I have a professional table here, but I can't show you how to do it the uh, home way. But if you put it like that, flip the turntable upside down, This is not as sturdy, but as I said, if this is a one-time thing, um, you have nothing else to work with. Now, I want you to take a shot at the tone arm. You can see that there's nothing obstructing the tone arm. Nothing can cause damage to it. So that's very, very important. 